first minutes of the game. China will try to make it a blowout if they're capable of running away with the score early. Singapore has something else in mind, though. But physically, they seem to be pretty evenly matched from, from the bigs to the wings. Similar in size, uh, some of the attributes. Both teams are quick off the ball, quick defensively. They got some length to go with it as well, so this is even Steven. Jan Payne. Bringing the pain. What, keep an eye out on Kelvin for Singapore. He's shown a lot of promise. He's built for 3x3. His body, you know who he, he, who he reminds me of? Who? With his demeanor, his legs, and the way he walks. How? Who? The Phoenix. Finsgaard. Oh, the, do, the do you Sphinx? See it? Yes. The Sphinx, right? I do see that. Shout out to the Sphinx. Delvin didn't forget the tip. He brought his wallet. Hey. Well, they just made him pay double. Hey, settle down back there. <laughs> Four and one. But a night, another great start, man. What an exciting day. And, and look at the crowd. This venue is packed. It is lit from the first row to the top row. Am I right or wrong? Oh, you're not only right, but behind us, people can't see it. But in the mall, people stacked up on the balconies. OCBC Square is turned up with their home squad playing well here. They do trail it by three, but fighting for their lives. But China off to the start that I expected them to have. Yambo Zhu asserting himself on the inside. He'll check out right now to go with a slightly smaller lineup. As Ping Ching Lu will check in, and he will defend Ding at the top of the key. Tatsuo getting them in line. Eddie Liu on the baseline. Juan has it thrown back in his face. It's going to be a 12 second shot clock violation. If you're China, you clearly want to tune up before the knockout round. And there's no better way to get a win against Singapore to do that. Great execution. Wu getting up to get down. 7-2 China, a commanding lead early, putting Singapore to the test here. How will they respond? Well, Delvin does just that, scores on the drive there. Delvin is very smart with the way he uses the, the hand on fake. He, he looks like snakes, man, I'm telling you, the way he moves, the way he attacks that baseline, it's funny. Simon Finsgar, a Slovenian future 3x3 Hall of Famer. That's what we're talking about when we talk about the Sphinx. Surely do. So we got to give them some 3x3 history from time on time to time, too. Hey, we got to give shout outs. The culture of the game is all about the legacy that you know and, and that you leave behind. And since you brought up that comparison, Every move that he makes, it, it looks just like... I, dude, I'm telling you, that's why, that's why I thought of it. That is so weird. <laughs> uh, it's, like, it's like the Asian version of the Sphinx. That it's, is funny. And it just, it, like, it just jumped to my eyes about a minute or something ago. Kind of like, he moves like someone I know. He looks like someone I know. And you would know. And I would know. 7-4, two minutes in, Yanko Su, he blew the career. One. Magic one. Good job. Very good job. So Singapore is starting to find an advantage on the inside. And not a bad decision to, to get it to Melvin when he's doing the damage that he's doing. There's a dynamic duel right Melvin. now. There's a dynamic duel right now for Singapore. They're using the big man that, that is doing a really good job screening and diving. And of course, Kelvin uses his uh, aggressiveness and long segments to uh, rain on the baseline like a madman. Singapore is in the hunt. The only thing they don't have going for themselves is the number of fouls they've committed already, but it's nothing alarming yet. Being 
the hunt. It's going to be their bloodhound. One with two to shoot. One he does get it up in time. Doesn't make it count. Wu stepping to the defense through the contact. His shot is off the mark. There's a foul, though, on the rebound attempt. That is on Singapore, which is number five. Yep. They've done a good job fighting to stay in this. Fight continues. China takes over. Lou up fake. Back pass. Too much heat on the pass. Jan couldn't pull it down. And he's tall and athletic, so <laughs> that lets you know how high the ball was thrown. Dean. Oh, I told you I was going to shoot it. Oh. I just can't delay the game. Man. I don't want to get it technical. They don't know you can hit that from here consistently. They're right. You're right. They don't. Luke driving, dipping, missing. Get it to the baseline. That ball is stolen. Quickly cleared. The Olympian. Ping Yan loses the handle on it. Down Great. low they go. A heavy helping of Delvin. 7-6. Delvin snags the board. You can feel the energy from this crowd now. And I know if we can feel it, the players can too. Shake and bake Ricky Bobby. He made the move on him. <laughs> did he give him the double shift? He did. You know who did that? You know who did that? The Sphinx. I, I'm, something happened. I don't know if there was some transfusion of blood or something like that, but there is some connection. Because those guys, they are too similar. It's scary. But going to something more serious, though. Singapore is pressing on where it hurts. They give the ball to the big men down low, and they're just hurting. OK, this guy on the flex cam, you can't see it, but he doesn't even need the fake biceps because he got it. <laughs> oh, man. See, I, I can't get on the flex cam. Everybody's just judging your biceps. <laughs> Let a guy get on there with bigger biceps and embarrass you. Big time, Kelvin. He's even the game up, Angelo. It's 7 7. Lou. Oh. No so, love. That would have been a, a great two to kind of stop the bleeding, silence the crowd. Man, this dude, this dude got game. He got game like Jesus Shuttlesworth. 8 7. This is a very entertaining game for two teams that are fighting to get into the knockout round. Play in game right here. Being played exactly how you would expect. This is a championship caliber game because their playoff lives depend on it. Oh, -ho! Dean! Dean! Answering the bell and having an opportunity to hit that free throw to give Singapore its biggest lead, Kyle. Yeah, by one point, that, but a lead is a lead. The first lead, no, they're not the first lead, you're right. Biggest lead and... Will be two, but it's not. A no. oh, good hustle by Dean, but wait a minute, now it's three versus two. Oh, and that two is Can. Peng Yan will give China a 10-9 advantage. 5.30 to play, what a game. Delvin, the man has been unstoppable to this point. Delvin, getting faded. But it's a Russell Westbrook. Juan, late the shot clock, doesn't touch any rim. So it's a shot clock violation, substitutions being made for each team. Kelvin is back in, as is Wu for China. Dean now substitutes for Delvin. They're gonna give the big man some rest. They're gonna need him down the stretch as Wu attacks Wu. And the call for the foul on the rebound attempt. That's four on China. If you 
of Singapore. We're looking for this man, number 22, Kelvin. Great flash right through the middle. Oh, this is a great game. Gotta love it. Mismatch City, though. Oh, yeah. Yambo Zoo. Dwan drives and kicks. Dean trapped in the corner. Dean comes free, puts the hook up. Loose ball goes to China. Dean wants to get it down to Zoo. Zoo is an animal. Smart play. A fatigue foul right there. Zoo wanted a substitution. And he sacrifices a foul to do so. Each team with five fouls. China with a two-point advantage. Kelvin. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, he, oh, no. He misses, oh, he misses all the shorties. What an opportunity blown. Trailing by two, and now it's going to get worse. That's how quickly things can change in 3x3. You go from missing a layup that pulls you within one to committing a foul on a made bucket, and all of a sudden that lead could be at four in a blink. Got to capitalize on the easy opportunities. Kyle, they have a dynamic duo of Singapore on which they can build. They're showing promise. What I'm seeing right now is a promise for the future. Can they make it something efficient in the present? They got four minutes to display that, but... Delvin and Kelvin, that's a, that's a combo that you're going to have to remember for the years to come if they manage to keep them together and build around them. 13-10, I, I do believe they have a good foundation. <laughs> Really good foundation. The more they play, the more dangerous they will be. We'll see how much they have left to pull out a potentially pull out a win here. Again, China is in front. They've led for most of the game, not by much. So we're watching some of those. Quick highlights. And the main thing that Singapore needs to try to get back to is utilizing the big man, but not trying to go for the first option. The first option, China can, with, can withstand pretty easily. But keep working around. He's going to find a way, find the angle, either for an open look for the guards or for himself being alone down low. Travel too quick for his own good. Apparently move the feet first. So Duan turns it over. Yan Bozu will get things started for the Chinese. And get it down to Zhu. Oh, what you gonna do with Zhu? Duan, pull up. Off the window. Singapore keeping stride. Yambu, Yambo Zhu is still attacking though. He had been relatively quiet, but they've been featuring the big man. He's been delivering. Can they get a stop and not foul? Uh oh. Oh, dime time. You talk about threading the needle. Brought his sewing kit for show. 15 11. Delvin. And Duan, back to Delvin. Delvin, oh! <laughs> he met him at the... Look at that again, I need the replay. What a block. He met him at the front door like he ordered him. Oh. Straight up, clean defense. That's a volleyball block. Two hands. Zhu, no. John Payne, skies in for the rebound. Lost the handle. He'll give it up. 
Zoo to Lou. Lou for two. Missed it. Now Lou driving. What a finish. Man. Skip to my Lou, giving China a five point lead, but not for long. Oh, lay something. A lot of talent on this floor right now. They cannot contain Zhu in any way. Delvin, right back. They need to stop if they want to exist. China in control. Just, yes. just above two minutes to play. Delvin, beat on the baseline. It's paying, extends China's lead to five. How about that pass, Kyle, from Zhu? Beautiful look. And the connection, all three players active on the play, building it as a team. Kelvin called for the foul. That's the seventh on Singapore. Eighth. But you know, it looks like China's gonna hold on to win this one. But Singapore have no reason to hold it, hang their head. This, right. this team has been impressive. They play well. A newly constructed team. You are, uh, the future looks bright. I think this is a performance they could be proud of. Whether or not they win or not, obviously it's not so likely. They're trailing by five. We got under two minutes to play. And Zoo's on the free throw line. But I just wanted to, I wanted to make that point because uh, I think there's a high ceiling for this team. They, they've got the talent. It's just understanding the nuances of the game and making the right plays. Executing when, when the, the, the critical points. I completely agree, Kyle, and I told you that dynamic duo of theirs is something that they can build around with promise. They're showing a good understanding of this game and a good talent. It's all about experience after a while. Delvin will take advantage. That's barbecue chicken for him. Easy eating to make it 14, 18. We've seen some crazier turnarounds than this could be, but China is just too good right now. China's operating on them. They, they haven't deviated from their strategy either. And that's why they're, they're able to answer. When they see a mismatch down low, they go down, and the bigs have been making the shots. Zhu sticks with it. That's another foul on red. No choice but to. Two more free throws upcoming for China that could end this game. It's up to Zhu. China leading 19 to 15. First of two for Zhu. It's true. Oh, it's a little cat in the hat, right? I want the game. Ping Yan. China. Get the director's chair. It is a wrap. Great game uh, to watch. Great game to call. And even in the loss, one that Singapore should not hang their head about. They will not be advancing to the fifth and final day of play here at the Asia Cup, but uh, they gave their fans a performance to be proud of. Congratulations to China, meantime, because they do earn a spot to the quarterfinals. We will see them live and direct tomorrow.